Another very popular option in the exporting area is to do work instructions directly from your process here. So you can see again it's the summary, you select the work instructions here. And you're going to be prompted of where to put it. So you click on the browse here and uh, what I like to do is have an uh, organized so that you might have your timer pro folder, you might have your processes and then you get different process names in here. And I tend to put it in here so let's just say it was a uh, uh, WI for work instructions and then say L62 01-1200 right. and watch what happens here when I click on the, the open here it's going, to, uh, it's going to say OK I want to save it to this and it's creating a structure here I click on the OK and it will start to put together the work instructions now the format that you see here is actually the default format that comes with the package however you'll be able to customize this to your own particular needs and what it's doing it's building up a, a template pouring the data from your process into separate sheets for each task and that's what you're seeing down here now it will be covered in more detail in the um, in the work instruction area here but the very you know, notice here where it's done it's actually appended to the end of this dash tp underscore zero zero one the dash tp means timer pro is maintaining it underscore zero zero one means it's revision one of this process and you can see down here I've basically got one sheet for each of the steps in here now we'll show you also in the work instruction area how you can add pictures and so forth and as well as play the videos directly from here and this is also a real nice feature because you can double click on this and it'll play the video right back from you uh, you don't do not have to have a copy of timer pro to do this you can give anyone this particular uh, worksheet and they'll be able to play the videos as long as you put them in a common network drive. We'll more about that later on too here. So here's revision one here. So let's say we close out of this. And let's say there's going to be a change in the process now. So perhaps you decide to maybe move uh, one of these guys down here. And maybe exchange this guy, put this one up here. Right, so we've made some changes there. And we may add a new element here. And I'll just call it uh, added for demo. Let's just say the uh, value in this was going to be 5 and it was going to be non-value added here and we click on that. So we've added a new activity here called added for demo and now you want to create uh, an update, updated work instruction. You select the work instructions again. Again, notice you're on tp underscore 001 here. You click on the work instructions, you browse and you find the one you're looking for which is going to be this one here. This is revision 1. So now what we have is revision 1 of the work instructions in Excel here and revision one in the process in the background in Timer Pro. I click on the OK and what it's going to do is it's going to instantly create a revision two here. You can see it up at the top here, 002. And then it's going to figure out what changed between one and two and it's going to put it all back together again for you. Right, so now it's thinking about what's changed and then it's going to start building it for you. See, it's starting to pour them back in here now. And that will reflect the changes you made. So this can save you just a huge amount of time in terms of creating and maintaining your work instructions. Now while it's working here, any number of rows at the top you can customize for your own particular needs. Any number of columns on the left you can customize for your own particular needs, your own company specific needs. Uh, we're going to do the clever stuff in here in terms of maintaining and creating, creating and maintaining the work instructions for you here. So again, it's working through each of the steps in turn. It's comparing what you had before in revision one to what's now in revision two. And it also creates one additional sheet at the end here called TP-change. This is what Timer Pro changed. And it's telling you right here what you did. It says element moved from Mount Wheels to buff three parts. Element moved from Mount Wheels to buff three parts. And the element moved from buff three parts to Mount Wheels. That's where we swapped them out. And then we added one right here. Right, so you can see it says a task Mount Wheels. So if I go back to Mount Wheels, there's my added per demo and the value here is 5 and that was shown over here in my change history as well. So it's also crea it's creating revisions, so it's preserving the previous revision, it's creating a new revision. Uh, this means the way we're numbering it we can go up to 999 revisions, more than adequate for what you're going to be do doing I think. And uh, we also keep a revision history for each revision of what we changed between the previous revision and the current revision. So this can save you a significant amount of time if you're looking to do work instructions uh, from Timer Pro.